Are you not worried about how your parents were going to react when Monkey said, I quote, uh, that you had sex and everything with a guy who was more than twice your age? What's that? Oh, in, in the film. <laughs> what, 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 oh, sorry. Were you worried about who how your parents that? were going to react? <laughs> Monkey, I think. <laughs> was I shocked when he said that? Were you not worried? No, they're quite long in the tooth. They can take it. <laughs> <laughs> they knew. They knew already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it was fairly clear um, in the film that he still had feelings for Ken, given the life-size doll that he had um, <laughs> of him at the convention. Um, I'd like to know, what, what does Stan think about your own ongoing appreciation for Ken? I mean, is he Oh, he's so cool behind that... it. Yeah, very... Yeah, he loved Ken. And I felt like you had a sense of regret about not saying everything that he wanted to say to Ken when he was alive. I kind of got a sense of that from, from Well, the that's... That's what the film managed to um, make whole, I think. Mm. So, yeah, that, that's, that was part of the impulse for making the film. It was a beautiful ending. I really mm. liked the ending of you guys on the, uh, what was it, some kind of um, railing and you're leaning over. Oh, yes. Yeah, in the balcony. Yeah. yeah. And there was a bit in the film that really jarred with me. And it was when you were doing a video diary. It was quite late at night. I think you had a few to drink. And you were talking through a puppet that had black spiky hair. And he put you down. He says something quite nasty. Is it hard to control what these puppets say sometimes? No, it's always premeditated in the moment. I mean, it's not that they're running away. I think it's an interesting question to ask myself. And they're obviously thoughts that go through the head. So they're just voiced in the puppets. Mm. But it does. It, I mean, there's something about the disembodiment of a thought that makes it more shocking. If I was to say, it might not seem so so odd. Yeah. Like, I really worry that I'm coming across like this. You know, <laughs> you're one of those boring... Bit, bit, nah, 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 yeah. And everyone goes, wow, she's... <laughs> <laughs> she's deep. <laughs> well, everyone's got that internal dialogue, I think, in, yeah. in their head. And you've you just got an outlet for it, basically. Yeah. 